कृपया ध्यान दीजिए द लैंग्वेज यूज ऑन द पॉडकास्ट मे नॉट बी फिट फॉर कंजम्पन वी वॉन्ट यू ट्रेड केयरफुली बट लिसन यार डोंट बी सो कंजर्वेटिव No New Year's Day. Oh, sorry, sorry. Just trying to do my uh, Stevie Wonder impression tribute. Welcome to Cyber Says, brought to you by Jupiter, a banking app that helps you master your money. What a pleasant day it is today. I'm in the studio on uh, Saturday, six in the evening, because uh, me and Amit and gang we went to do a, a conference, an event, uh, where I lie naked on a bed and people threw money in a bucket. We got very little. It's all change. Uh, it fits in my hand. Uh, about the money, nothing else. But let's discuss who we have today. Very exciting. We have Abbas as the anchor. Mm-hmm. so all the stories will be presented quickly <laughs> perhaps to the point and there won't be that much stammering and stuttering and it won't take 15 minutes just to figure out which state the guy was from right. sometimes it's, it's a geography bro drives us mad for the name uh, no silly we love you and uh, the, you cannot be replaced however today is a big day a big day uh, first i want to say to mangalam who's come after maybe i think uh, six months i can't remember works with us at cnbc he's very influential gas leaning liberals who's also capitalist <laughs> that paradox that only indians can be next to him sits india arguably abbas uh, yes. uh, and amit who i will introduce in a second <laughs> uh, arguably the greatest indian since i i, I dare say chandra gupta the first right who had uh, chandra gupta was the panwala around the road <laughs> you'll start a right you start a right you start they'll come after you they will tw- come after you on twitter they will come after you on facebook and worst on insta where my daughter lives also so be very careful uh, but today is a great day for the greatest indian yes. uh, kunal vijaykar ji he has turned 58 it's his happy birthday happy birthday yes. to him thank you thank you very much thank you very much thank you well played well played and uh, more importantly it is the retirement age as we've discussed <laughs> so we are here to congratulate him on a yeah, it's retirement age isn't it it is so it will, for is i think it's all government yeah, it's not, government yeah. of india yeah. i not only retirement age after this i'm a senior citizen so i should be stand on airline gates not in class train tickets sorry somebody well, got your two punches that. in yes. okay with with the young mike tyson remember two punches all you're getting okay it's going to end badly but i want to just quickly mention on this 58th birthday it's important to note hmm. this that kunal started should, uh, walking uh, last year oh wow just after his birthday early morning walks and he kept it up for 3 months before giving it <laughs> and uh, yeah so congratulations for that 3 months of athleticism in 58 years uh, no, both months i did so nearly 12 months no, no. i got a minute stay yeah Sounds like Roger Federer. I got a minute. This is a guy. This is a guy who basically screams. The driver of the car is not close to the lobby when he alights. You know, I mean, it's like I would walk five feet. You know, it's a great. Fifty-eight years of Kunal. How uh, long is? How old is your friendship with him? This is not a tragedy. This is a comedy. Fifty-eight years of Kunal. I mean, you know, Amit, Amit has just come back from uh, Taj Santa Cruz, uh, where we had a very pleasant time with four hundred men. Thanks for that, Amit. Mm-hmm. Really, You're welcome. actually, that's not fair. I found three girls to sit. You did. You sat with them. You yeah, Kunal. Had a uh, yeah. long conversation with a, them. I did my thing for IBM. Yeah. I promoted the brand. <laughs> But Cyrus, have you stopped touching now, or? You still they allowed it <laughs> because senior there is a discount. Uh, Sir, so speaking of promoting the brand, it's a really nice T-shirt you have. Ah, there. but it's an audio medium, so how do they One, know? Right, I'll, I'll make can see us. I'll rustling sound of the T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we did. Okay. I'll Should ask. I stand up? <laughs> oh, I no, no. I, I'm not going to complain. But we are supposed to get images of the T-shirts. We not got them. Okay. But <laughs> you're not, you're not, that's fine. <laughs> hey, everybody, so go to Mark, Alien Podcast. You're doing a Mark Anthony shop. You can go buy these T-shirts. One second, but you're doing a Mark Anthony, right? The, oh. the speech is one thing, but you're saying one thing, but you mean another thing. Well, so I mean, like, yeah. I just want to tell Abbas because I don't want to feel pain later. 
You yeah. bloody idiot of us. <laughs> Let me explain to you what he's trying to say. Huh? No, so that, that's yeah. IBM merch, is it? Yes. That's yeah. IBM merch. Yeah, but how, he, he's... Okay. Yeah, dhyan but how do you get a merch for a podcast? It's like uh, having... Very good, Mangalam. You fucked up our marketing. <laughs> no, all the, no, it's an no. audio medium. Why yeah. do you get a visual something for <laughs> an audio medium? Do you get podcasts. Yeah. You we'll get bring him on the show. He screws us. Why would you not get merch for podcasts? This Mar- is merch like, for podcasts is the best kind of merch that there this is. is like, what? It's like saying you have you, you put the poster of a radio jockey on, on, on the... Uh, they do it all the, the time. It's unbranded no. merch. This is it's like... Uh, when exactly. He, Sorry, I just want to tell my yeah. quick story about Kunal to bring in the metaphor slightly with uh, Mangalam fat. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This is what Kunal has done in the past when his good friend Baman's wife, Zenobia Irani, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. a famous actor, Zenobia called them for dinner once and, you know, for my heart made lots of great food, etc. etc. Some from a caterer and asked everyone how the food was and one by one everybody said fantastic until it came Kunal's turn and he said, can I be frank? <laughs> and everybody was like, oh, my God. And poor very sweet lady. She just has a bad word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks at Kunal and says, Okay, of course, Kunal, what are you going to say? Yeah. And he says, It was terrible. <laughs> and then he went on a rant about the salt, not here, yeah, and the sweet too much, and this and that. That's a bit, a bit like what happened just now with our merch. <laughs> we have a good thing going, good. and Mangalam is just gone for it. You had a good no, thing I... going, you started the show by saying, And we have an app which helps you master. Bait. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Kunal, coming back to your birthday, one thing everybody's asked me, and of course, I don't know if she's able to move your camera to show your feet. Your leg doesn't stop shaking. It's shaking now. It's also. shaking non stop, yeah. and Mangalam is scared out of his pants. <laughs> so everybody asks Mangalam has got why, nothing to do with anything. Why does Kunal's leg shake uncontrollably? What is the reason? And if it's not sexual, what is the reason? And I clearly think it's not sexual now at 58. <laughs> no, so no, please. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, I want to pee very badly all the time. That's why. But all the time. Don't hold back. Yeah, don't hold back. IVM is yeah. a very friendly place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they can't see what's happening below my waist in any case. So <laughs> this, this is a very nice show. Why yeah. are we going in? The- Mangalam, talk to the senior yeah. citizen. Then we'll give us a discount on the gags here for a second. Uh, okay, any quick questions for the birthday boy? 58? Oh man. Uh, Abad looks lost. <laughs> yeah. He's not prepared. He's not oh, yeah. prepared. Yeah. It's not in his list. Not in his list. I came from Lepi. How dare you? Uh, the trick question. <laughs> So, uh, okay, 58, right? Uh, so that means... Uh, you just keep saying it. I feel 1964. 1964. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. So you grew up in like the 70s. So you like... Hey, Jude. So you grew up in like the 70s, 70s. Yeah, yeah. Young Amitabh Bachchan. Like? Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no. I'm just like... Dilip Bachchan. Kumar. Uh, Dilip Kumar was, yeah. He, he was... Dharmendar. I think in between uh, uh, hero roles and father roles. Mm. And Dharmendra, <laughs> that just came out wrong. <laughs> yeah. He was trying to be complimentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But Avitabh Bachchan was the biggest thing. I think. He was the biggest in the 70s. The biggest thing, yeah. I know he was in the 80s when I grew up. Yeah, right? right At that point, no. he was like the king. Yeah, yeah. So, he, was, he was already. Does it hurt you when you see your heroes in boyhood and now they're old, they're aging way past their prime? Because are, I feel that Are you talking now, about me? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you as well, but That's I mean, two strikes, Mangalam. Two strikes. <laughs> so when, when we grew up, Sachin was the thing. Then there was, uh, you know, Rahul Dravid, all of them. And now they're all ancient to us. How does that feel at 58? Because you'll have a lot more of those. You know, for some strange reason, uh, they remained my idols. And I never took to the new guys. Right. So they still remained in my. So you hate eyes. contemporary artists. Ooh, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. In a way, in a way. Like if Ranveer way, so. Singh came and spoke to you, you'd be like, "Get away, waiter." No, 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 I don't know. I've never spoken to him, but I believe he's very loud. So. Well, that's not difficult. You, you, you know, uh, you've like been, uh, yeah, you've been friends with Cyrus for a very long time. So what's Ranveer got on you? Yeah, come on. That is also true. Huh? He you might even be better. There. You got me there. You got me there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the, and but then, the... then, 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 on top of that, all of them either call you uncle or sir. <laughs> yeah. Which is another thing, you know. <laughs> so I mean, Amitabh Bachchan is never going to call me uncle. Ever you, I life. don't know. I don't. Yeah, know. He's looking pretty fit. I'll tell you. The the realization of your heroes growing old always hits you because I was doing a stand up show in a college recently and I made a Rahul Dravid joke mm. and only the staff room table laughed oh. because I realized all the other kids uh, in their eleventh and twelfth have never seen Rahul Dravid play. But he's, so, a, <laughs> but he's India coach. So he's he's coach, but then you make uh, jokes okay. about him being a slow uh, player. Okay. Without, uh, seen without naming names, right? Okay. Within this office, I had a conversation with somebody, hmm. a younger person, did not know who Manisha Koirala was. Wow. And hmm. is a big Bollywood fan. Yeah, that's amazing. That was she, she that goes up to the mid nineties, late nineties, early two thousands. I would think. Even even yeah. the Sanju movie, uh, she was. Uh, she was in Sanju. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, she was uh, the mother. Which, which is 2013, 14, 15. No, no, uh, yeah. 17, 18, I guess. Well, yeah, same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's the same thing it, it, at your time when there were f- movies. How many mothers do you remember from the movies? 
besides nirupa manisha koirala was i think nirupa roy was a, a mother she, character but for this girl right. manisha koirala is what nirupa roy was right. for us right. no, no, but she, in a way in a way does he know that but she didn't do enough of mother roles come on no i mean who is the person who didn't know manisha koirala is one of the people who worked male or female uh female How does that matter? Indian <laughs> women, I tell you, it's just so disgusting. What is? I mean, what is up with Indian women? Really, what's going on? Yeah. Manisha Koirala, I mean, come on. No, but I mean, it's uh, it made sense to me because if you think about it, Manisha Koirala has not been in that many movies after two thousand three. No, she hasn't. She's not in the news either. Yeah. But remember the Kapil Dev incident? We had a girl from Delhi who was working here, and yeah. you know, Kapil yeah, Dev was, and we yeah. were all looking. I think yeah. almost yeah. you were there. Yeah. It was yeah. like, what the hell? Yeah. I really felt sad that day. I I thought I don't belong. But I really don't belong. <laughs> It 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 does. I mean, like you know, the time flies, right? I mean, like the millennium. Uh, millennium was two thousand. Uh, was twenty two years ago. Yep. Yep. I mean, uh, yeah. So, so, wow. but the sad thing, you know, Amit is people who are in the business. So huh. you're a filmmaker, or you are a film executive, or you are something, and you don't know your own history. Right. It's like a young oh, cricketer. Yeah, cricketers, yeah. They don't young know cricket, names. Yeah. Young cricketer mm-hmm. who's playing cricket today. Forget that. Not knowing and yeah. everybody yeah. didn't know who Cyrus Brocher was. <laughs> <laughs> and this is after one year of being my producer. So that guy's got problems about. That, that, that's the <laughs> pandemic. You you can't blame him. That's the pandemic, I guess. No, but uh, Kunal, let's get back to the question. He uh, he asked actually earlier yes, on, which is how many years do I know you? So he gave an audition 91. to a play in nineteen ninety one May, 91. exactly May, his birthday month, which means thirty one years. Yeah, thirty one years. Thirty one years. Wow. The song 91. Alice is twenty. So he's known. Years, you've known each. You've known him longer than you didn't know him. Which is yeah, in a way yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Wow. I met him, and we became very good buddies because he had a car, he had mm-hmm. some money, and we both like to drink and eat. And you had the and now uh, wait, you wait, had wait, the sharabi dikki. Uh, you had the sharabi dikki, right? Yeah, yes, I've heard the story. Yeah, the sharabi, the car, the, the, the I don't want to, I don't want to give car. the wrong impression and say we're going to endorse alcohol and drinking and all that. But it was just, it, it's a different zamana, so don't judge us. Yeah. We had the works, and never do this, guys. But we had the works. We had the full drink set up in the back, and Kunal is a big ice yeah. fan, so we, uh, ice would be put in at the very last second, so it lasted as there was an the ice box, glasses, <laughs> and the drinks. And, and uh, I remember you know, with guys like Parag, Samir, Vikram, all in the car, all in that small Maruti, all bunched in. Only one person spilled. <laughs> that was you, the king, the king, the king. <laughs> to the point where and he would scream, drunk as he is, don't let him pour, don't let him pour, sorry, I pour, somebody pour. He was just screaming me. That, that is don't why let Brocha touch the in bottle. In the last few years of his drinking, he drank with a straw. Wow, you used did, to I drink, did, I used did. to drink vodka with the yeah. like with the yeah. straw. Yeah. Okay. Also, I could always identify my glass and uh, to avoid the teeth thingy with the diet coke. So I just started drinking with a straw. It's sort of it, it looks stupid, but people get used to it. That's like merchandise for a podcast. Like vodka because... and diet coke. <laughs> vodka and diet coke. Yeah, that's, that's, that's an avoid the calories. Man. But vodka and coke actually tasted really nice, but diet coke didn't taste so nice. But no, no, you, uh, you see, the, the problem was we were drinking really cheap vodka. Okay, Cyrus used to buy. And the vodka was really cheap, so the only so was the company, to... ladies and gentlemen. So was the freaking company. So the only way to disguise the taste of really cheap vodka was coke. Okay, you drank with soda. No, 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 no. All the problems I... of all the problems that he was worried about, his teeth was one of the <laughs> yeah. one that he wanted to say. He said, "Okay, not so bad." Yeah. Yeah. But but uh, you know, the story behind that goes back to our theatre days again, where the women seemed to like this drink, and since there were more women than men, it was mm. there was more vodka and more more coke, not diet coke. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Actually, yeah. let's be honest, that's the brand. Right. Vodka and thumbs up. So we. Just did it because out of necessity, and, and everybody actually, drank the same thing. That yeah. So there were these guys were hardcore whiskey drinkers. So you have to go and find his own whiskey. There were three, four guys would be hardcore whiskey drinkers. I just drank whatever the janta was drinking. Yeah. It was like that. It happened that way. That we don't have to spend money, Mangalam. Now, as the head of CNBC's finance department, you should salute me. I was always one. <laughs> I, I salute you always. I said, Fuck the taste. Yeah. What's more important, taste or pocket? Always pocket. Always pocket. <laughs> I don't even drink. <laughs> there you go. Imagine the taste now. And I don't drink either. Yeah, so yeah. I can imagine. I just look at the pictures and I ha, acha hoga. Um, <laughs> Amit says, "What do you want to eat?" He asked me to get some fancy Chinese food. I said, "No, no, no, just Rajasthan cheap kebabs is fine." <laughs> But uh, so long as uh, uh, you're not paying, neither is Amit. <laughs> brother, he's paying. I mean, that's one way of looking. At What? It. Come on, brother. I mean, are you coming from the pocket? Is it? Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I would never. I would never. I, I think of it like that at least. I mean, like I, I definitely think that. But I, he actually was paying from the pocket, huh? because uh, there were four of us who were my age, and we were in our early twenties. And all I was the only age. person who had a job, man. You had a, <laughs> you, yeah. you had a proper I'm job. Older. Had a, yeah. You had a car. Okay, we had cars sometimes. You know, it was not always available. Etc. Etc. But I had, I had a company car on top. You had a company oh, car. Oh, what free, company was that? Working. The Kunias. Free the, petrol. The Kunias. The Kunias. Oh, Mangalam, wow. Free that's petrol. Nineteen ninety. That's advertising. That was those days. Your petrol was taken care of. 
You will just fill the full tank every time you yeah, went. How there. how expensive was petrol that time? Twelve thirteen rupees a liter. Well, when no, I started no, driving, it was, it was six bucks in nineteen ninety when I started driving. It and was tw- fifteen when I feel like it was fifteen when I started driving, no, which was ninety one ninety two. Fifty bucks I filled the first time. Fifteen one five. No five zero I filled was a five six liter. Okay. Okay. I suddenly want to be fifty eight again. Yeah. Now I remember a time when the US dollar was seven rupees. I five rupees. Oh, you were smuggling. Fera should come after you. What the fuck is going on? It's by the way that. Tells you your age. It's Fema now. It's not Fera anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, pre I, ni- I didn't get the memo. What are you pre, saying? Pre nineteen ninety one. Yes, it changed to Fema. Pre nineteen ninety one. When Kunal Foreign Kunal Exchange Kunal Regulation Act. What is this? Foreign Exchange Management Act. What? It is not regulation oh, anymore. It's not regulated. It's unregulated. Which is more positive sounding, by the way. Yes. Uh, because because it's not regulated anymore. They said Fera, you'd feel fear. Yeah. Especially the smugglers like Kunal was earning in dollars. No, it's Fema. Fema feels like massaging, a fen is cream. Massaging elderly ladies in Juhu Beach for some reason was getting paid in dollars. It's a story you tell us. In those days, I did not. Those days, I did not know where Juhu was. Yeah, that's true. The gold spot factory. Yeah. I heard that story. We're, we're hopping a skip from it. We're in yeah, car yeah. in the studio. Today, that's today. your karma now. Today, huh? yeah. Today is Mira Road. And you're grateful to come here. Yeah. Yeah. As against Alibaba or Mud Island to shoot. Yeah. There you go. Okay. We... That's enough of the book. We'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to it. Yeah. Yeah. At some do, point. Does, yeah. Do you want to say anything on your 58th birthday? What do you feel? Do you no, feel no, anything? I, I don't do you feel get anything. up feeling, oh my God, 58? Not at all. Not at all. I've been feeling very old for many years now. <laughs> <laughs> so there's nothing new. I just get older. That's great conditioning. You tell yourself you're 58 yeah. when you're 22. So when you're 58, yeah. you're something. <laughs> it means nothing. By the way, Abbas, how old are you? I turned 34 in March. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Amit, 47. 48. 48. And Mangalamji? 33. Oh, youngest. Youngest. Cyrus, <laughs> me and you. <laughs> me I, and can't, you. I can't hear you, Kunal. What did you say? Huh? What did you say, Kunal? Me and you, Cyrus. There's, there's Rishi, our engineer. He must be 26 or something. 28. 28. 28. Uh, Vinay, you? His waist? His weight? And his <laughs> all 28. Vinay is 29. Vinay is 29 and he's the boss. He's the boss. Yeah. Wow. So I, 50 year old reporting to him. Huh? And he's 29. Oh my God. Uh, Vinay Saibji. Huh? What's up? What are so, we doing? Uh, first topic is uh, to do with Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, there were two sort of roadblocks in uh, Elon Musk's uh, uh, what takeover of Twitter? Uh, one was uh, he claims that the number of bots on the site are way more than the than the site claims. Uh, the site 5%. claims it's five percent, oh. but he says it's way more. Then there was an expose done by a uh, news organization in America, which is kind of has far right views, where they did a sting operation on some of their Dude, employees. I accidentally prepped you for this whole thing. I think, so. <laughs> <laughs> but you gave me your views. No, no, we were talking about it. I mean, like we just we spoke about both of right. these things, which yeah. is kind of yeah. weird. The interesting operation where Twitter employees are saying on camera that on uh, one we, guy. we are so one guy, right? The Indian huh? guy. No, two guys. There's a, there's another engineer okay. who said that uh, we are not as committed to free speech. We are we will always censor. Our ideology is very. Uh, we are commie as fuck, is yeah. what the guy says. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw uh, that video. And and, and that. that has uh, again uh, been seen as a roadblock for for Elon since he's so committed. No to one second, speech. but the second <laughs> thing is Elon Musk mentioned the. Couple of things that have that he's he mentioned the five percent. He mentioned the five percent. Right? He mentioned the, the, the second thing about them talking about the hypocrisy that's really there, sort of thing in, oh. amongst the people. He's not mentioned. He's that. not mentioned that so yet. That but, saying, but that uh, seems to be the bigger issue, right? I mean, like right. this five percent thing seems like a little bit of a straw man. I think what he's more concerned about is the fact that he realized, and he probably should have realized earlier, content moderation is not easy. Mm. And I think that's where this kind of this came up because. Um, there's a video done by uh, one of the Green Brothers, uh, you know, the guys who run Crash Course and those sites, uh, mm-hmm. those those, those, those yeah. channels. And he was talking about like, you know, he showed us talking, people. You just have to say, yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can look at your face fading. It's like, Kishori Amunkar is singing in your ear and you can't take it anymore. I can see your body. Kishori Amunkar live in my building. I don't, well, yeah, you know, don't digress. Don't digress. It's not a classical music uh, transition here. Let's go back to it. Yeah. Which is hard sell on the Green Brothers who aren't comedians. Yes, 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 no, yes. they're not. They're, uh, they're educational YouTubers. But basically, Basically, they had this whole thing about like, you know, or one of them had this whole thing about how Elon Musk's views around uh, content moderation have evolved, right? It went from information must be free to information must be free as long as it's legal when hmm. to information must be free and legal and as they should not approved. create bad. Government approved, huh? third one. So government approved yeah. and should then also not be stuff which is uh, bad for the world. And then the fourth one was that should not be bad for but the world and should user. create that, 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 not bad for the And that's content exactly. moderation. The, the, the Twitter exactly. user should so, uh, uh, accept it for him, which really, what does that mean? Yeah, uh, and, and, and Elon Musk for all uh, his championing around, around yeah, free speech, etc. Apart from him, no one is allowed to speak at Tesla. 
So he himself really is company. Yeah, yeah. yeah he no Elon in your face. <laughs> <laughs> he moderates the narrative of Def- Tesla that goes out. So wow. I mean, so he's a can... fascist. This guy is an egalitarian democrat. I wouldn't call him that, but yeah, uh, he's not exactly. He, they, no, there are, them speak, there are shades of gray. Let's yeah. put it that way. I think in the world that we live in, we have to be moderated. We yeah. cannot. <laughs> <laughs> you like the stick. <laughs> Yeah, you like this little thing. bit of moderation is required because no, I mean, I've discussed it for twenty minutes. At the end of the day, when you look yeah. at specific, you look at specific examples. What is free speech? Hmm. If somebody beheads somebody on Twitter or asks to kill somebody, etc., yeah. etc., yeah. et there's a point where you can't endorse it. Correct. Right. But, but and, then, and then how do you draw no, the so line? So he's he's got a point. He's yeah. his point. He'll explain it to you better than me. But his point is there's thought and philosophy, hmm. and there's a call to action and arms. Hmm. So they're two slightly different things. Very well put. So, action. So, so an exhortion yeah. to yeah. action, right, yeah. is different, right? You can't you can't like this is a classic example. You can't shout fire in a crowded theater. Correct. Right. Right. You Correct. cannot go like, "Hey, you guys need to go and kill this specific person." Those kinds of things you should not be able to do. But at the same time, what would happen if there was a fire in a theater? A thought experiment around that. Nobody should be able to stop you from doing something like that, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Well, this is scary. Yeah. So because yeah. it's all words, and it, <laughs> literally, and it, it's surrogate advertising. That's what it is. also King for sure. You can't advertise yeah, exactly. beer. Well, yeah. We'll say package drinking water. Yeah. There you go. No, but that is it. it but and the job is in your mind immediately. See, here's the thing, right? All this stuff. The theater. All, all, all this stuff exists on a spectrum. Right. Right now, where you fall on that spectrum is kind of an individual thing. Some people might fall much further on the freedom of speech side. Some people might fall much further on the keep the platform safe side. Right. And it it, it is all a negotiation, which is why Elon Musk's entire whole. Twitter okay, acquisition. I have thing. to interrupt for a second because uh, Rishi is laughing and nothing we are saying is funny. <laughs> now, what the hell is going on? That's very distracting. Someone in the comments has said this episode should have been called Boomers Say. No? <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> hey, we have a t shirt called Big Boomer. Right right right. One second, you ages, can go and get that at the gym. One second, we're talking about free speech. The ages is ages. Are just somebody complaining about the engineers, okay? Adesh is saying, I swear this show uh, has the worst engineers. The worst engineers. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Engineers. <laughs> ah, that they don't laugh at. Yeah. Let's bring it to the notice on Ouch. free speech day. One of, one of the engineers highlighted this comment, so they, they want it out there in the open. Yeah. <laughs> They're very competitive engineers. I must tell you guys. I, I thought we got this fixed. Is the audio not fixed now? Huh? The oh, internet, the is, internet not is fucked. Oh, so we're not on? You mean <laughs> we are? We are. <laughs> okay, people, if you can hear us, send us some signal. Uh, just uh, spell Kunal's name in um, Greek. I was going uh, with Konkani. Okay. okay. <laughs> the Greek, Greek would be tougher, I think. I'll go with Greek then. Yeah. So about the uh, back to our yeah <laughs> the freedom. bot uh, issue when Parag Agarwal clarified it hmm. uh, in a tweet. Hmm. Can you trust an in Indian? Uh, but Elon Musk replied to it with a poop emoji. Yep. As yeah. in whatever, oh, yeah. Yeah. whatever you are saying oh. is a load Can I of ask you, is, is that it or is, is he being funny? Well, that's the question, right? That's what Elon, the it, vibe he gives on Twitter. So is I, this I, I think edgy. Elon Musk is no different than um, Donald Trump in a way that he plays Twitter. He plays with, you know, things that he does, etc. He likes the outrageous. He, li- he likes it like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's a guy who wants to go to Mars for a weekend. You know, I mean, there's something odd about that. <laughs> Would you want that guy as your neighbor? I mean, come on, what kind of? I mean, really? Oh. That's my neighbor, yeah. Because if he goes for the weekend, I have the house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so proud. You know, your Mumbai spirit is so strong, and you squat on your neighbor's house the moment the guy yeah, is yeah, yeah. like a 33 year old, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sharma, how long will you be? <laughs> he's in the park, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So how does it work? Do you get to use their stuff as well? Or you just like use the house without using their stuff? That I will know once he goes to work for Mars. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Uh, Bigfoot had said that the problem with Elon is that he's non-egalitarian. Not egalitarian. But that's what we're just asking, that's, right? Because yeah. he's projecting this whole thing. Of, I'm, I'm the great champion of free speech. No, and, but I mean, look at it. But I mean, look at it. If Twitter is a, is a media, yeah. because mm-hmm. it's a form of media. Yeah. Is there any media in the world which does not follow the ideology of the owner? No, there isn't. There you go. Simple. But no? then that's but then that's not just media. Media. or you take no no that's the what he's saying. Ideology of the owner means uh, owners got the last word, fair enough, somewhat. Mm-hmm. But there's a free flowing exchange of ideas no, and thought. He, he's saying that he denies that. It, and not just that, he, Elon Musk's entire reason for buying this thing, right, is that this is the public square. That's what he says. Hmm. So okay. if that's the case, the public square is the public square. So that yeah. should not have an ideology. And then you can't have all these uh, rules and regulations under the public square once you've given us a platform. Yeah, but so many different those five things he just mentioned. 
uh, if you just quickly go over them, one by one, it gets worse and worse. Right? You're talking about laws, but, legality, government regulation, self-regulation. Anybody on Twitter taking offense, that, that's literally going down to that. I mean, what's, no, and, what, but, what's uh, that? but also, like, see, if a public square is there, right? I think and we spoke about this a little bit, right? If there is a public square, if the public square is surrounded by a bunch of armed guards, that's not a public square. Yeah, yeah of course right? not. But at the same, so you, you, you have to have the ability for people to talk in a bunch of different ways. But, uh, you know, it's a very organic thing. When it starts out, it becomes a public square and thereafter, then there's some order that comes by and it reminds me of Harsha Bhugle who says that political parties, companies, countries and individuals, they're all the same in power. As in? They, as in, they, they, the way they behave. Political yeah. parties, uh -huh. countries, companies as well as individuals no matter how they are off power, when they're in power, they're they all the same. They get corrupted in a sense. Yeah, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Slowly, slowly, the democratic yes. thought goes out and you yeah. just take exactly. over. Yeah. Whether it's one person because or a group. Because it's all incentives, right? I mean, like, if you're incent you what are you incentivized to? Winning elections, making money, uh, making progress, doing the, maybe even the social good things Avoiding that you want to do. building uh, neighbors in the lift is one of my mm. piggies. Because mm. I start low. But Kunal, there's a mention here of bodyguards in, in the analogies brought up by both these learned gentlemen. Mm. And while you were making faces, thinking you're doing a jam ad or something. No, uh, I'm reading them. This thing. Yeah, Antarik reading, Shankar from outside has said, guys, the internet is fine. Yeah, yeah, from okay. the same building. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's fine. <laughs> we, we, we can't take that seriously because he might probably be hearing us no, from no. there and saying that He's on fine. Tinder. So okay. <laughs> 100% right. This is a good time for him. Yeah, yeah. But let, let's get back to Kunal. So bodyguards. Mm -hmm. We're talking bodyguards because you're Chandrakupta Maurya, the most famous <laughs> after Chandrakupta Maurya. Uh, he himself had female bodyguards. Stop this. Uh, <laughs> mind you. I'm not lying about this. Do your research. Sure. Because okay. he trusted women more than men. He didn't okay. trust that, men. That was so, okay. All right. It's true. I'm just suggesting to Kunal that he sure. becomes even more famous and one day becomes like a Salman figure. So your solution bodyguards. is Twitter should have armed um, No, I want Kunal. I think of Kunal as Twitter. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Kunal is our free platform, our public square. And I mean square in a nice way, not that you, you know, lost shape. <laughs> so, yeah, I think women should be guarding this lovely monument of India, but one of the... Speaking of China, speaking of monuments. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Because ah, yeah. <laughs> you and me, the Silent and Garfunkel of our times, yes. uh, the Salim Javed, the Jatin Lalit, give us more. Uh, Okay, I don't know who Shovik is uh, referring to. He says Mayavati looking good in black t-shirt. Is that? No, is that's that? Kunal. Kunal, Kunal has made oh, Mayavati. Okay. Yes, yes. In, fact, ah, right. in fact, last election, Kunal got more votes than Mayavati. <laughs> so, he's, that, he's that good. Yeah. I but, don't know. Uh, if we could just play uh, later when we fix the show a little bit, uh, use a picture of Kunal as Mayavati. He's, he's a dead ringer. I mean, really close. Not kidding. No okay. disrespect. No, this morning, he was the queen. He was not too far away from that. Either. No, he wasn't. But, but uh, in every way, and there's just so much closeness in the aesthetics of this uh, other character that do I think this is a compliment or an insult? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, like, think of it as a compliment. Yeah. Your acting skills. Yeah. Your performance, yeah. yes. And, or Ivan's and, makeup and, skills. And my makeup, I would say looks and, and genetics, but yes. <laughs> yes, I get, I get uh, Ivan's you've makeup. You've given me another segue, Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh and monuments, uh, it's something... One thing, you mean Lakhna, to... One thing, it's not... It's, uh, Lakhna is Lakshmi Puri, yeah, by the way. It's, oh, really? It's, well, it's might as well be... Uh, in, not in yet. <laughs> matter of time, there's no government uh, change, so why won't they change it? It's done. Yeah. Something we've been trying to avoid talking about, but it's been uh, dominating the news for the for the rest oh, of God. the week. So uh, the the Supreme Court has uh, overturned a lower court's order banning mass prayers at the Ganwapi Mosque. Uh, there was a idol found at the at, in the mosque. So right for now, the court has said that the namaz can still go on, but the the area where the idol has been found needs to be cordoned off. And many people are saying this is history repeating Achha, itself. Are we calling it an idol because we should not use the word? Or um, no, I can tell you the. It's a shivling. That's it's yeah. a shivling. Yeah. Yes, they claim it. They, they claim it's a shivling, it's a uh, and it's under yeah. dispute. Yeah. Okay, one second. Under the Supreme Court. As, uh, me and uh, Abbas, as the non-Hindus here, we plead the fifth because we both have families <laughs> to feed. I'll leave it to you three monkeys. You sort uh, this out, shivling and all. So you got a masjid. You got a shivling. You got people in UP. You do this. Another claim uh, saying that uh, that yeah. the Qutub Minar is was uh, also built by a saint. Uh, and the rooms in the Taj. Yes, the that too. Yes. That which well? which is Kolaba one? <laughs> <laughs> The rooms in the Taj in Kulaba. Those were and, made by Parsis. Yes, yes. They have got a lot of temple artifacts, etc. And all Did that. you burn down a Hindu temple? I personally can't, I can't afford the Taj. It's not about Hindu Muslim right. for me. I just can't afford it. Yes, yeah. I can do it. Uh, uh, um, all right. Do you want to take this? Uh, what is the question? The, there's no question. There, there what, is question. what are your thoughts? Look, they've so got, they've allowed they, Namaz to continue, okay. but they've taken okay. out that area. Where historically, they, historically, uh, and I'm not a Hindu right wing uh, from any angle. Uh, Whenever his, someone his, says that, I get scared. Yeah. <laughs> That's a setup. Which is just, yeah. Why yeah. don't yeah. ever yeah. say that? Yeah. I mean, who yeah. says that? Why would yeah. you ever say yeah. that? Yeah. Because, because you come to a liberal show and actually say that. And who said? 
ಶಿವಲಿಂಗ್ <laughs> I think that's uh but that's Ethiopian <laughs> <and> <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous because no, they've already because got a masjid in place. No, yeah. but, but what you're saying yeah, now is they're giving they're credence, credence to the fact that they've come up with this theory. Is well, there not a law that says that 1947 is the day at which we are not going to basically go, go back in time? Is there yeah. a law? There is a yes, law. Yes, yes. That on August so, 15, uh, 1947. There is a law, then there is a law. There is a law. I, there is a law. I, there is a law. No, but not just that. It's like a Miss India answer, brother. What are you oh. going to say? You're going to please everybody. What, 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 what are you going to do? This is ridiculous. But but we can't be like that. We can't just say, okay, let's find a compromise. Everything is compromise. But life is what compromise. Mischief, but what if it was just an act of mischief? Which, then, which, then catch it out. If it's an act of mischief. Who's going to catch but, it out? No, so here's the thing. It, uh, eventually, you have the Archaeological Society of India. You have the Supreme Court. They do their investigations and they figure it out. But no, no, there, the there is a hundred and one percent. Hundred and one percent. This used to be a temple. There's no Correct. doubt about this. Yeah, right? like this like like the, the precincts there. of the Kutub Minar also. Yeah. If you, I've seen them with my own eyes. You can see defaced, uh, uh, defaced idols, little cetera, idols yeah. and all that. And uh, uh, but so what? That that's true. No, but that was there. That that's know? how history. So what was. do we do now? Hmm. Can 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 like I'll give you a. This, no, but right? I mean there are that, uh, there are innumerable compromise. Form is a very dangerous one because lots of things are built over yeah. broken temples yes. or broken but other that, artifacts. That, that and I think a, so. It was a political act in history to basically destroy the temples of the uh, of your rival kings and your rival rulers. Absolutely this was a political correct. act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Religion was irrelevant. I mean, like uh, there are. legions of stories you, you should talk to people who study history of jainism right. they will tell you about how many jain temples have been slaughtered and massacred right. you, no, no, why 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 just limit this to india itself globally it's, you know politics and religion have always that's been that's a safe answer for us tell you why, just the metaphor to I'll, 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 I'll give you an example i'll give you a classic example now, guys. of, of yeah. turkey huh. in the 6th century there was this structure made uh, called the aya sofia which was a mosque because yeah. that time istanbul was constantinople right. and it was roman then the ottomans came in the 13th 14th century etc they turned that uh, huge church into a mosque it became a mosque all the way up until 1935 when ataturk took over and he said okay this is going to be a state without any religion etc so whether it's a temple or a uh, rather whether it's a church or a mosque it becomes a museum it was a museum until 2019 this is the blue mosque the sofia thing yeah. the aya yeah. sofia yeah. that you're talking about yes yeah. that yeah. so aya sofia was a museum until 2 years ago when erdogan made it a mock again who is no yeah. right winger from any angle and exactly of course not. so yeah. of course not. Yeah. no but i mean but like the that, same exists the... in jerusalem right i mean the same exists in ireland the same exists in so many places where religious conflict exists and even where religious conflict does not exist hindu temples if you are a Shiv, if you are a Shai, if you are a shaivite hmm. or, or you are a vaishnav right you will have fights and you will destroy each other's exactly. temples it's really that is how this went in history it's like saying that buildings that were blown up, blown up in war in iraq today are basically exactly, it's yeah. the same thing it's it was exactly it's a political version of laser tag yeah, or paint ball for the parsi should get iran back ideally they should it was the same thing you should start that campaign let's come on now <laughs> i'll support all 100 you. of us want to go back <laughs> to iran mangal <laughs> is frozen here huh? no no he's feeling cold <laughs> <laughs> but we've got to we've got to take a break our sponsors are there and i don't yes. have my glasses so this is going to be a long break the going jupiter break. segment yeah, yeah. um so uh, mangalam this is a small improv yep. segment that oh, we play it's uh it's uh, a line that i'll give you and we can come up with our punch lines so today's line is tracking your bank loans is as difficult as understanding kunal's uh, political thought process <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know what he's trying to say let me make uh, one of this hum honge kamyab moments where we all hold hands and sing kumbaya and come no, no, together but, but we uh, have to and be, seven communities to share one thing don't be idealistic has to be idealistic this country can't deal with it we can't only way to survive is to be idealistic one more and yeah. this i came up i i i i i i believe you what's yeah. wrong with idealism why yeah. is idealism a bad yeah. thing 
and it's an practical well. thing. Mm. It's not going to happen. Yeah. But if it's you don't have an idea yeah. to but, strive but for, how can, are you going yes, to? Yes. Yeah. But if you are just being nice to you because you don't want you to be bullied, don't don't believe tracking your bank loans is as difficult. Being an idealist, tracking your bank loans is as difficult as finding out whether it was a temple, a mosque, or a church. Ooh, that's a good one. It was a church now. This is not enough for you. You want to get the Portuguese to come back? What are you guys doing on the show? Uh, uh, shall Who's we go? Uh, That's it? I mean, if you have one, no, they see. haven't uh, let Kunal do it. What, what? Tracking your bank First, loan. First, pay attention to the show. <laughs> That's <right>? difficult. That's <laughs> Tracking your bank loan is as difficult as getting a bloody loan, man. <laughs> What do you true. think they call us all the time? Yeah. Ooh, these loan sharks. Have you ever asked them? Have, have, tried have to. you ever told them that I need a loan? No, I have lots of fun conversations. They always put the phone down. I've never put the phone down. That's why I, I told Amit, Amit just had one and just. I love that. Give me a chance to talk. To but do you get a loan? No, I just talk to exactly, them. Exactly, that's all. But, but I talk to them about other things. I said, "My doggy gum gaya." Tracking your bank loans yeah, as, as trying, hard as finding as, your doggy. As trying to yeah. find my doggy, <laughs> love. We are looking for a partner for my male Peter. So if anybody out there <laughs> wants to mate with a male Saluki, is quite happy and nice and all that, and we can discuss this. Hey, Cyrus, your matchmaking thing with me failed. Yeah, I was just. <laughs> no. Kajal, listen to the show. What do you mean failed? No, but that's now, what, what is you that? Because open you, the Pandora's you, box. Now we're going to go deep into this, man. Yeah, we don't need, do this. Amit, we need to yes. go to a break, Cyrus. Yes. Yeah, but uh, for that break, we have to read some relevant information. Yes. Which uh, I have to apologize. Being Kunal's birthday, I wanted to not wear glasses just to show him how young I am. And now I'm going to be just like him and not be able to read a word. But I thought my bank was good. And this is true. I really did. Thought as in past tense because Jupiter has just landed on Earth on my phone and changed my entire life. Mangalam, can you repeat what I just said? <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm testing you guys. Jupiter is the digital banking app you've been waiting for, guys. No pesky paperwork, no endless line. Just create an account in just a couple of taps, and you're good to go. Banking at your convenience, and not the banks. This is the main point of this entire ad. Okay, it's at your convenience. And that's now. the one that's not even written. <laughs> no, nothing. No, is it written. is written. Okay. Who says it's written? Oh, sorry, nothing's written. I'm just, just doing an yeah. I'm just doing an acting job of a guy oh. reading an ad oh, with no okay. glasses, I'm, and I'm doing a fairly good job. Yeah, I fairly good say. job. Yeah. Where the hell has Jupiter been all my life, man? Visit the Jupiter.money website to find out more. Download the Jupiter app on Android and iOS to get started. And now let's go in for a quick Jupiter money break. But once again, wishing a very happy birthday to anyone else. Whose birthday <laughs> Thank <is>. you. <laughs> Thank more you. people. In the yeah, there is. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, we have Amjad, who uh, turned 41, and uh, Abhinid. Adrian. And I mean, all of them. I mean, turned 17. So 41 plus 17, <laughs> yeah, 58. Yeah, right. So three retirees for the price of one. For this unbelievable Jupiter money break. Hello, everybody. It's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On Mind the Gender Gap, host Nana Kumar talks to experts Niharika Vora and Dipti Ravula about the social, structural, and economic barriers women entrepreneurs face. On Big Talk about Tiny Humans, Devi Shobha and Meghna explain how to talk to children about porn. Can you be forced to vote? Host Priya Mirza talks about this on the longest constitution. On Press Decode, Sarah Vagda and Prafula discuss the recent controversy surrounding Indian languages. And on Postcards from Nowhere, Utsav shares exactly what India's culinary heritage can teach us. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, we've been doing a series of profiles of people within the office, so do check that out for sure. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Also, don't forget to rate us on any platforms you're listening on. And you can also check us out on YouTube. We have a page on our website, ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube with a list of all our channels. We're also doing a small listener survey to better understand how you, the listener, responds to the advertising on our network. And also, we just want to know a little bit more about you. We would really appreciate it if you could spare a few minutes to fill it out. It will really help us build some better shows for you. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors on the network this week, SBI Life Insurance and Jupiter, a digital banking app. Wow, SBI Life Insurance. I'm thinking Kunal, a bit late for that now, no? 58 already. I mean, is there any point? Let's talk about financial Sorry, expert. point of what? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't at your age. Whatever oxygen is left, you save it for better things. I totally accept that. Is, is it is it okay to get a senior citizen insurance? I mean, is it possible also to get? A yeah, you just have to pay a little more premium, premium. as against the discounts that you get. So you save it on the discount and then pay for the insurance premium. God, you're sounding like you really want to sell this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, got a job. Or you know, somebody who knows how this shit works. Yeah. But he does. He's the guy. That yeah, no, nah, he knows how this. I mean, works. I was advised so much when it comes to Bitcoin. <laughs> by by IBM. Uh, 
it's people. okay it's a long it's a long term you uh, don't long talk. you destroy thing. temples and masjids now you leave <laughs> leave finance alone okay there's only one world you can take off in time yeah uh, sorry, Abbas, give me the dirty look. You have some Not interesting points to get into, please. Yes, uh, we're going to the next topic, which is uh, quite interesting. I think we'll relate to this, Cyrus. A uh, British man took his family to Sao Paulo to see the dentist because he says it was cheaper than seeing a dentist in the UK. <laughs> yeah. And he's actually broken it down. He says after you pay for the flight about six, seven, six to 700 pounds, the dentist in Brazil only charges around 50 pounds, which still is cheaper than the thousand pounds he would have to pay in the UK. Yeah, I, I, I totally, and you get a holiday. They, they will stay for a few days, right? It'll be worth it completely. But didn't they do this a lot in India as well? They do. India, medical tourism. Medical, yeah, 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 medical tourism yeah. happens a lot here. It's still, still. Arab community was famous for it, yeah. for example. I mean, a lot of communities, why just yeah. call it the Arab community? Yeah. No, Basu, they, yeah. they, 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 if you go to NM College over there, they actually, you no, know, they target Dubai and they target yep. places like that. Different dentists target the US, uh, the UK, all kinds of places. I mean, why is that? You know, a lot of your uh, NRI relatives who come to India, the first thing they, they do, do is, is they go, go to, to the dentist. dentist. Yeah. With that, my uh, vet friend, uh, Dr. Doshi, lovely guy, he does everything from uh, cesareans to plastic surgery for humans as well from abroad. <laughs> Nobody questions it. You put the doctor sign out, you go for it. Yeah. But no, what if you have to make a repeat visit? The dentist says, I come after three months again, I'll have to make a refund. Again, it will still that. cost him less than It'll probably going cost to him the, less because so the it, dentist yeah. in London. Oh. We'll kill you with a cost. So uh, this is like somewhat realish math. Uh, a, a tooth implant in the US this costs five thousand dollars. By the way, yeah. just a quick, quick uh, reminder to everyone: he's just Amit has just come back from the dentist. I have. Yeah. I and just you had broke a tooth his heart. How about Sao Paulo? Sorry. How much yeah. did your tooth? Oh my are... God! No, the people aren't ready for this. <laughs> I can't expose people this kind of pricing. No, no, I just want no, to no, no. Is, people are suffering after the pandemic. I cannot take this number. I can tell you one thing: oh, one freaking tooth is always fifty grand. One freaking tooth, it's 65. and it's never 65 just five grand, and it's just never one tooth, right? The yeah. minute you, so I have this theory: a mechanic in your one car, one tooth, many tit. <laughs> sorry, how do you? What's the? What's that's the line? not a. That's not that's a phrase. Not, that's, not, that's not the line. Sorry. Yeah. A mechanic in your car, a carpenter in your house, and a dentist in your mouth. The minute they enter, they refuse to leave. Everything. <laughs> yeah. What I can say? No. I'm telling you. Have you have you ever taken your car to a mechanic? Is it? Ye kharab ho gaya. Fir wo kharab ho gaya. Fir All the mechanics I've ever had, they give me lectures. They're mostly Parsi, and they just talk to you with disdain because they feel you yeah. don't respect your yeah, own you car. Don't, but you don't, right? You yeah, are a you are a poor car owner. I'm a poor Parsi. I'm a poor car owner. But the car owner. I mean, like by Parsi <laughs> standards. But he's a poor I'm, anything like, owner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm very careful about fuel and I'm very careful about scratches and all that. But you know, there's more to it than that. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're supposed look, to get into the engine and shit, man. Oh, How can you not? No, I mean, if the oil is slightly unbalanced or something, I mean, all this is being done because of electric cars. What are they going to do? Because <laughs> it's going to kill so many people. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. But so, let's get back to the story. Which in, is in our, for the dentist. As, yeah. Maybe Mangalam doesn't know, but I am a half dentist. Oh, sorry. Right? So, oh, so he's from a dentist. Yeah. He's from a dent line of dentists. His whole family are dentists. Uh, his sister's a physio. They're all medical people. He's the only failure. <laughs> I've got Join the gang, they Abbas. They have a party. There's doctor, double doctor, triple doctor, everything in the site. So, what do you mean half dentist? Like, so I studied one year, two years, two years and then I, no, two years, Cyrus. Almost third year. Oh, what are you going to get? <laughs> Only, so I, I only I will go to you because you've reduced range. Because of, you, instead of doctor, he's got D. You know, <laughs> pass, D dot. He can fix the first 16 yeah, teeth yeah, and then yeah, after. Yeah, yeah. No yoga. So in, in our college, in the, during the practicals, when the students start treating the patients, some of them are grossed out for putting their hands in the patient's mouth. So one of the professors actually told us, think of it as your hand in their wallets. Wow. So, <laughs> nice. I like this. Wow. Guy. Fair wow. enough. You got to be clinical. You got to be clinical. That explains. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, when yeah. he said, in your eye was wanted, <laughs> you think you're in somebody's ass? You know what I mean? It's not right. But, bro, why didn't you finish it after doing two years? How many? Two years more? Four uh, years, right? Two years more plus internship. No, but that, once you've done that, you have to go that way. But I'm saying two years more of actual hardcore studying. Yeah. So, why did you stop in the middle then? I was not into it. I was not interested in that. Uh, like hand so was so a law degree. <laughs> no, no, I got a job with MPV, which oh. made me miss one exam. Okay. I went to the Northeast, and that, that whole thing was about 10 days. So I missed an exam. Okay. But I was getting paid decently. So I, you know how I am, yeah. Always short term yeah. gain. No, I, I, I actually didn't know that part of it. No, I thought no. you just like, I'm done. I would with never this. do I it. Go I would never do it. I, ah. I kept the seat for one year. You can ask him. Okay. He used to go drinking yeah, every yeah. Friday. And I kept telling him, don't worry, I'll become a lawyer. Oh. They all got the <laughs> same <laughs> crap. Became a liar. They saw the shows. It's in this. It's going to be a future year. You're going to be 20 years in this business. You know, and you're a youth icon and all that <laughs> shit. You know, and that's just like six months. You know? well, in some places, you still are, by the way. 
podcast.com <laughs> and there's a shop and there's tab. a shop tab, tab on the website on the website which if Papa. you click <laughs> if you click <laughs> you can see a range of the t-shirts you t-shirt. can see a range of t-shirts <laughs> there you go and do you get a discount <laughs> huh? yeah it's you all actually discounted. do yes It's all Use discounted. the code Cyrus says. How uh, many Cyrus is in this room? <laughs> <laughs> the guy is selling it practically free at seven eight hundred bucks, man. You want a discount on that? Seventeen hundred bucks for seven to eight hundred. Seven to eight hundred. Seven hundred rupees. Seven hundred. Do you make yeah, large yeah. sizes? Triple yeah, XL. Yeah, we, we, we go up to three XL. In your oh, mind, excellent. in your mind, your triple XL. Yeah. You're actually very small. Oh yeah. These large don't fit me, man. It's like, a Shakespeare so, thing. As you like it all over again, the seven stages of man. You're going back to being a child. We're going to get child clothes for you <laughs> as you get thinner. And, and Kunal, have you uh, have you noticed that? Call the, him curd rice, Kunal, because <laughs> he can't eat much more. The plus size clothes in clothing stores are always kept at the bottom rack. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, exactly. You have to bend, yeah, exactly. have to bend yes, and yes, like yes. embarrass yourself. Yeah. To pick up Unbelievable! You <laughs> you're feeling offended that they need you bend. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to push up in your and life. Just when you're uh-huh. uncomfortably uncomfortably bending, the guy will come like, "Can I help you, sir?" And, like, <laughs> and point out, "You want that triple X, lad, sir?" Huh? Well, have you ever felt bad? You've never felt bad, no? No. So no, when you no, go to no. shops and you look for a certain size, but but I must say. Uh, only once uh, when i had put on a hell of a lot of weight i walked into the plus size shop at bridge candy okay oh, wow. where chungfa used to be correct that, all, yeah, all yeah, yeah i remember that and i walked in quite happily but while stepping out i started looking around anybody seeing me walking out of the shop for <laughs> 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 one last thing it was moment in the shop when you're in the shop do you see everybody is like large or that's oh the, i i was wearing the smallest size in the shop <laughs> <laughs> So he was really happy in yeah. this is what yeah. is out okay yeah. fair enough so it used to be in the us that you used to have these big and tall stores right yeah. they changed now they don't have big and tall stores instead they have brands which are big and tall so it's like right. harbor bay Only, wow. All you get is big and tall. Oh, okay. Nice name, nice. but it's a nice yeah. name, Harbour Bay. So you go Harbour into the Harbour Bay. Oh, I don't mind big and tall. Doesn't sound so bad. That's like uh, fair it's and lovely re- renaming it. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> What is it called now? Just lovely. Glow and lovely. Lovely is my cousin in Punjab. <laughs> oh, it's good. Now it's called Glow and Lovely. Yeah. I really should buy these products. Yeah. Uh, do they uh, work on our IVN broadcast at all? No, I don't think so. They don't sponsor anything. Nothing. Of course, it's an audio program. How stupid are they? Yeah. <laughs> Please buy Fair and Lovely, <laughs> which you can't see. We well, can have merch that people can wear. Oh, that's right. What a yeah. great idea! It is. <laughs> Who said it's a bad idea? Who's an idiot? How do you know this kind of talk? <laughs> Somebody. Uh-huh. Not MBA is not a apply for <laughs> jobs here. Um, okay, we're done. Let's move no, on. We with... have one last topic before we go to the AMA. But, but, but I want to get some AMA's in. This is birthday. I'm hoping three, four people will write it. Okay, so let's go to the AMA's hmm. then. Well, uh, Rishi, uh, we'll quickly do a re- reconnaissance. <laughs> Are there any uh, questions for the birthday boy? Uh, is anybody called Kajal in that? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> let's go to the AMA's, guys. Let's ride the wind. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So the first one comes from Vivek Barthwal. Uh, with people wearing headphones all day long, would you like to see a wig attached to it? No hair combing required. Won't lose headphones and less work. This uh, question can't be for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick the first uh, AMA question that we have. Abbas, all, I'll pick the one. No, we are all, all sensitive you. to your plight. You and Amit. So we're not sure what to do. Then the next one is a birthday question. Yeah. You want to want to answer this let's, one? Yeah, let's go for that one because this uh, okay. makes. Uh, this makes very <laughs> we'll come to back to this. Uh, it's a silly question. Uh, we'll save it for the one with we'll, the... we will answer it. But uh, Prasad. Prasad Shetty's one is nice. Go, go on. <laughs> uh, we have one additional viewer today, along with the regular six. It's Kajol. Kunal's Kunal's Kajol. It's wow. a little, uh, Kajol has a very protective mom as well, so that would be two. And not happy, Kunal. Not the, happy. We should actually make a call to Kajol. I don't mind, but uh, <laughs> the, oh, thing is, the thing is, Kunal never answers. So I mean, yeah. so you, no, it's <laughs> not true. Come on, I'm not that bad. But then I'd answer. Then what do I tell? Okay, Kajol? next subject. Janil, Janil has asked yeah. an interesting question. Kunal, what is the best birthday gift that Saris has given? Has Saris ever given oh, you a birthday? Oh, <laughs> well, I must tell you. I must tell you. Uh, nothing. <laughs> 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 no, but I'm told by some hey, accounts that we have planned a surprise party a couple of times here yeah, in these thirty years. Where? Who? I can't remember details. We you did. didn't plan, and the uh, but the, part, the surprise. Party. No, the surprise party. The plan you wanted to leave at nine o'clock. Considering I arrived only at quarter to nine. 
But that's true. But I've not given up drinking, no. Yeah. So what am I going to do there? I'm like a waste of time. But I'm we like... did some. We had some really good. No, but I'm told that Cyrus is uh, a very generous friend. <laughs> A lot of people have told me that you know you don't have time for this question. <laughs> <laughs> it's too long. Uh, I, uh, yeah, anybody who's been listening to this podcast knows what Cyrus is. About. <laughs> hey, screw that! I don't share the money. I never carry any, but I shared my family. He's welcome yeah, to more of them. Which is true. Which yeah. is true. So, so true. Yogesh Pardesi has a similar question. He says, Kunal, what what do you think, or why do you think we hear about you from Cyrus on every episode of Cyrus Says? And is he's, he's given you is a hashtag, true? hashtag is ultimate romance. Yeah. He's a very influential figure. I'll tell you what, Kunal is always your example for things. Like yeah. my friend Kunal is your... And it's always something great, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but it is ultimate romance. I mean, I haven't heard of anyone... Well, I... People keep asking, I've got not against homosexual. I have to say this, just like he said, you know, I'm not right-wing. I've got against homosexual. But we get a lot of that innuendo going up, you know, the always yeah, together. Yeah. And I've always pointed out, guys, look, I've always had a girl or a wife. So right. if you have any questions, please address him. Only about sexuality, not me. Because I'm clear. Uh, but I don't know about him because he doesn't tell us. He's very shy about all this. He'll never answer. And then when we give him a girl in his lap, and then, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I can't, you know, you take the horse and you put the water right there. And what else can we do? You know, I mean, really, what else can we do? Abbas Tarun cried, Tarun. Abbas Tarun. cried tears. You know, he was like, what? What? He didn't answer. Look at this. Uh, from Rishi, calling me lazy. Rishi is in the corner. <laughs> Rishi, Rishi, Rishi can't control his he emotions started, right now. He started from calling me lazy, <laughs> then rude. And now he's calling me homosexual. <laughs> I mean, come on. Homosexual is not a bad thing. But, but why are you saying it's a bad but thing? But you put it in the it's same category. But Tar- Tarun Kaushik it's... says, my friend Kunal should be on your t-shirt. Uh, as a, as a yeah, that's right. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, but but for I, that, you'll have to share royalty with Kunal. No, I don't mind. But I want my friend really large in Kunal's yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's my copy. Yeah. Uh, Chinmay asks Cyrus, Cyrus, do you dream about Kunal? Yes, I do. And then I wake up sweating. <laughs> not, in a, not in a good way. <laughs> so I got to tell you, Kunal, Baman Irani, his other great friend, has put it very succinctly and correctly. Kunal's story, if you understand, you'll never feel bad about him or judge him. Kunal only thinks about his level of comfort. That's his thought process from start to finish. There's nothing more. He won't invent something <coughs> fantastic. There's no long process of thinking. But he will definitely, while the riots are happening, think about why he won't be able to go through this road and it'll cost him 10 more minutes to go via that road. Because immediately that's how his mind works. And it's not a moral thing. It's just the way he is. He's literally, I've got 10,000 examples of that. The butterscotch ice cream. He's a very pra- no, but it's about him. It's always about him. Right since the early days, I was appalled. I have a very middle class mentality. I was appalled. Okay, we were driving back from the Kunyas where we worked and uh, we reached my house and then he was going from, it's five minutes away, we reached Kandy, his house. He calls up the maid, or I shouldn't say the word maid, the, the help, Indu. Uh, not a very attractive woman, but anyway. <laughs> oh, you won't, you, 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 you won't want to say maid. You didn't want to say maid. <laughs> because her face came in my head and, and she's, she's passed away. God bless her. Lovely. Love, love, just guess what? She's man, lovely. Man, I should not say anything bad, but really... I mean, but you he's know. just he's a dead <laughs> old lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He calls her up and says, AC chalo karo. I'm like, you know, that really sounds wrong, you know, in a third world country with poor people. You were not even there. So I asked him why. I was in the room cold before I enter. <laughs> it just sounded vulgar. But you know, it's not in his mind, it's not about I'm so rich, I can do this. It's only yeah. about I don't want to sweat. So uh, when I enter, it should be cool. So it's always okay. practical. If you think uh, from that point of view, it's not bad. Nandish yeah. Trivedi's question has been hanging on the screen for a really long time. Since Cyrus never carries his wallet. How much does he owe you, Kunal? Should the next birthday gift be re- returning this loan? You know, it's a lot of money, man. It's a lot of money at one point of time. And Bombay Bar ka baat mein bhara, Yes, but, but, no, no, but, but, but can I, can I, I have to confess, okay? Mm. So we go to the Bombay Gym at the sag end of our drinking, okay? Ah, right. Before no, the, no, 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 this is bullshit. There, it was, okay, I, let me set this up. Don't lie. Part one was okay. chicken center. Okay. Where we were both called Baba as we age. Yeah. I mean, when you're 48, you're called Baba and 43. And you're Baba, Baba this, Baba that. Fine. Okay, no problem. Where I paid. There you, you paid. But how much did you pay? 400 bucks, 500 bucks. You're averaging for five, six large each with but extra snacks. But that's over so many years and no, you so haven't paid us. Cheaper. It used to be 293, 253. I mean, nothing. But weeks. you've paid every meal. that Every meal. Yeah. Every meal. yeah. And now, oh, no. no, only when Saru got married and got... Ah, that children. bloody kachi wife of mine makes no, me pay. Got, what the... You marry a kachi woman, you expect to have some respect out, for money. Then he would grudgingly... 
no, no, my wife would start screaming at me. Don't let Kunal pay and all that. It's your family. She's one. <laughs> we are five. How can he pay for six? But then I used to, how can he pay for me? And I'll pay for them. Uh, I was still fine. I'd go down with the ship on that one. Yeah. Yeah, coming back to our budgeting. So, uh, chicken center, not so much. Bombay gym, it became more and more. We started drinking really heavily and I yeah. got very generous when I'm drunk like all misers. Mm, yeah. Suddenly, I'm like, ah, Raju, come on. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to the next question. A lot of them are coming <laughs> in. <laughs> A lot of questions are coming Part in. three. <laughs> <was like, laughs> Part three, which is my last thing. Part three, go to the Jasmine Bay, get to one of these places where each drink, each drink, each drink is the bill. Price of the Bombay Jukara. <laughs> Angalam, the bill, one, one drink is the bill that we paid. <laughs> they actually told me one day, okay, I'll, who ordered Jaeger bombs? <laughs> okay, and those Jaeger bombs, some chicks must have been yeah, there. No yeah, chance, yeah, yeah, let's get yeah, drunk yeah. with the girls. Got five shots for the girls who never saw us after that. <laughs> and then the bill comes, the bill is like three grand back in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's three a lot grand of money. is unbelievable. By Bombay, was a pound it. Pounded at Chicken Center, part one, pounded it. And 3,004 girls who had drank the shots and took off. And that was uh, who? He was so angry. Yeah. He was like, ah, because he wasn't even there in the bar. He was somewhere else. And suddenly the bill came to him. Because he was busy calling for the AC to be on. But we didn't normally do 3,000 at that point. No, we That's would nurse one yeah, drink. Yeah, I I'm just thinking, like, I, the time frame you're talking about, I remember once going for a dinner, which turned out to be something like, 1800 rupees per That's head. a lot of money. Yeah. I never went out with those people again. <laughs> ever, <laughs> never went out with them again. No, but really. I mean, depending on the yeah, time yeah, frame, yeah. Now, everything, 1800, whatever. But no, no, I know, point, I know, I know. If I know. you're averaging 300 at dinner, exactly. you can't say go to 1800. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's just a vulgar. Yeah. No, and this was not, like, it was a sort of, this was a Marine Plaza, like a Chinese restaurant. Right? Huh, the first sort of one. expensive, not that expensive yeah. though, right? Where I mean, like, what a normal dinner at, like, a China garden at that time was 400, 400 bucks. 500. Over here, it would be 400, 500. It shouldn't be that. 1800 because these fuckers were ordering, like, stupid expensive. And nobody money. attacked the Congress. They were in charge. <laughs> now, poor BJP, everything we blame on them. Okay. Including Chinese food, especially Chinese food, because the whole Chinese issue. Uh, Sorry, next question. Yes. Rosiki has asked, Hey Kunal, happy birthday. What's the plan for tonight? Thank you. No, there's no plan for tonight. Uh, it's a bit vulgar. It involves his hand, <laughs> his phone, his bed, his, his air conditioning. And unfortunately, Hindu's not with us. Kunal knows how to use a PC. Oh, I do. Oh, is it confession, Amit Doshi? No, this is. Ah, to take one, eh? To the masturbating, we both put it What the hell is this? He's going to set up his fucking phone. What the hell is this? No, it's just, dude, I mean, like, you're the one who only knows how to use the internet via the phone. Not everybody else is like that. <laughs> what have you done to people listening? They're all <laughs> thinking of us all enjoying ourselves, the erotic moments alone with different, <laughs> through different mediums. Can you believe it? Abbas, what's uh, yours? Me, dentist, what, brother. My, my what? When you watch erotic stuff, what do you want? Uh, yeah, dentist is one of them. <laughs> a dental chair is very, very flexible. No, I don't mean that. Too. What do you look at it? What screen? <laughs> what do you mean, what screen? <laughs> I'm uneducated those two years nothing they learned nothing it was closed the college he's, would, he um, went on weekends he's not looking to answer you where do you question? find your phone is what he's asking oh there is plenty of no no words. on the phone on the computer you see what I go through every day every day we have this conversation <laughs> live <laughs> both both um, both both I but like I'll that. go to the next question yeah. uh, oh which... version <laughs> complete version <laughs> Uh, Aditya Prabhakar asks, uh, or rather says, Happy birthday, Kunal. What is one of one of each grossest and tastiest food you've had and where? Mm. Oh, you were in Kenya? You had yeah. that... Uh, yeah, but it was that gross. Co crocodile. Yeah. But I've eaten insects in Thailand, and which, un, which I eat. That's because they couldn't find bacon. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's like eating sev mamra or something. Yeah, right? but it doesn't do anything for me. It's yeah, I don't like yeah. it, but I don't... Yeah, really it doesn't insect. disgust me. I'm like, wow, what Kunal's yeah. belly, man. And uh, any form of... Uh, Really good Indian food is always welcome. Like a good run, no, but good listen, nihari, you good butter like chicken, and, and those kind of things, you know, like smelly meats uh, and stuff. Uh, duck is not smelly at all. It's very nice. Okay. But so, we've eaten zebra uh, and we've eaten I remember we crocodile. went, we went and... to eat it, you said duck and we did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your favorite butter chicken and what's your favorite keeper? Oh, there, there's, there yeah, are lots. several. There are several. Okay. okay. So but, I, I like... Uh, you're forced into one answer only. Uh, yeah, don't give several. It's like a compromise. Your mother... Yeah. No compromise. Single India, answer. You have... Last day for everyone. Last day to live. What's your butter chicken? What's your keeper? Okay. My best butter chicken in that case would be Sagar at uh, yeah, Baikala. Not, not okay. Baikala. And uh, best Kima would be Grant House at uh, at Crawford Market. Crawford Market. And oh, you nice. would obviously not eat vegetarian food at all. Now he has to. No, it's it's called Karma. <laughs> he bites your, you on I your glutes. Who's your favorite uh, vegetarian restaurant or comfort food? Oh, I can eat a Gujarati Thali very happily. Swati, Som and all of that. Uh, Swati. I mm -hmm. like Swati better than Som. Uh, but I can eat a Thakur's Thali. Uh, one sec. He means Swati uh, Deshpande. It's a different story. I'll explain to you later. Long before the internet and he had these options, there was Swati. Uh, well, uh, 
Okay, so, Grim... but both both Swati <laughs> and Som are really nice. And uh, what Som does is what is Som's big... surname? Som does Som great. Som Var Monday. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can mean. say. But Som nice. does some really nice healthy food, which is quite yeah. tasty. Uh, Som Undi is also, I think, better than yeah. most of yes. the other ones. Yes. What about Tackers? Yes. You just go to Tackers. So but much. I mentioned Tackers, tackers slightly. Tackers. And Status you don't like. No, status is very good. Well, very actually. different. See, the, but South the, but Indian the version problem, of Gujarati thali. No, the problem is that you they say Gujarati thali, but then they put Punjabi, Punjabi dishes yeah. in it. Yeah, it's a mix. Yeah. Which so I don't like. But why? I, it's like a hybrid. No, but I want to Gujarati thali. No, then I'll go to Punjabi restaurant and eat proper Punjabi. he's going to start <laughs> dividing the country on food. <laughs> <laughs> he's not done enough already the on our show. country is already divided on yeah, food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shovik Bhakshi asks, Kunal, can we expect an episode of Khane Mein Kya Hai featuring Cyrus? That's yeah, yeah, so his dates are not available. No, it's not that. The thing is, Kunal is uh, like a. We just spoke about Elon Musk being a you know yeah. wolf in disguise in uh, sheep's clothing. Kunal is like that. He's very aggressive when he shoots, and it's very difficult to work with him. He abuses and shouts and screams. <laughs> this guy in the 9 p.m. news who does that. <laughs> <laughs> that guy learned from Kunal. They worked together for many years. That is the watered down version of Kunal. He's uh-huh. a little more eloquent, but he's not as badly behaved. Oh, this is a genuine question. Do you pay for all the meals that you eat uh, on Khanemi? Some of them. Some people don't charge, uh, but some people we pay. Or, I mean, is it because they charge or you insist that you pay? No, we ins- we always insist, but some people don't take it in the See, when they shoot road food, they, they pay because it's yeah. cheap. And when it's more expensive, they try not to pay. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't that be the I'm waiting for a period where they will start paying me now. Yeah. That's true. But yeah. you can't eat with all your bloody health problems. I can eat. I can I can but taste. You, you can taste and you can also use a straw. You mentioned straw. <laughs> you can use a straw all your life. And you don't use your mouth. You can put the straw through your stomach uh, directly. Okay. Coming I soon, thought it was going somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to put the straw somewhere else, just put your hand up and I'll put it there. Yeah. Uh, Akriti has uh, asked, uh, Happy birthday, Kunal. Can you suggest a good fun place in Mumbai for a first date for arranged marriage setup? <laughs> That's very specific. <laughs> so the wow. best, I'm telling, I'm telling the you. The best is a place which has two options. So he and her eat separately. The, the the, the most popular arranged marriage setup place is the sea lounge at the Taj. Yes. Mm. Why would you say Two that? cousins. Two cousins got. Yeah, See, there you two cousins. cousins. The hit rate is also good. Two oh, cousins, you mean set up for the first meeting? Yeah. yeah. Or an arranged marriage. Oh, okay, but that's expensive, bro. If it doesn't go right, I, I think I've invested in. Oh, there's this. Place. It's one meal, Cyrus. <laughs> ROI, bro. <laughs> they just came back from event. It's all about the you ROI. No, 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 no. No, you will. <laughs> ROI. You when, the ROI. When you start, as a father, if Maya, has, I'm taking Maya there, you, my daughter, and and, and say, uh, you know, Mangalam is the suitor or whatever. Mangalam, save me, man. I spent five thousand rupees. Please, please parents explain. don't need to no. know. No, I'll tell you. I'll okay, I'll okay. Maya. see. Uh, cost to company, CTC and no, 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 Paying a food bill and investment. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with that. It's a, that it's is a, my so investment, okay, bro. No, no, no. And he walks up on my daughter. It's okay. He says to eat food. But, but so so does he feel rejected. But she gets food. So, so see, food. you you may at at best that's you a get different married. argument. At best you get that's married. an argument on board with. I don't like the food at Silang at all. Okay, the question is turning on its head. <laughs> like, Mang- Mangalam, finish your lecture. No, so I was thinking, no. this is thing of a payoff scenario. At best, you get married to the love of your life, or at worst, you get good food. How is that a bad bed? But who pays for that? Why should I pay for that? Whoever's left alone. It's a rain marriage, so freaking parents are involved. No, so I'll have to pay for that. Because the guy's parents are there. But well, it's okay. It's an out of your family. It's all right. Knowing you, pay for that. Knowing, you idea. knowing you, the yeah. other parents will only pay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I heard a story about somebody buying your son a television screen. Because father would not buy. Uh, Uncle Kunal. Yes. That's, that's direct. Don't get involved in those business transactions. My son exists in Mafia. He calls his godfather a friend. Hey, Tony, hey, Frankie, what you want to do? 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 You want to do? You want to do this? I'm out of it. So do you never get angry at He doesn't say no to them. Then he spoils them. It's not my fault, right? What am I supposed to do? Shout at him. My wife shouts at him. Yo, don't do this. Don't do that. Why should I shout? I'm off the hook here. Because yeah. then they come to me as a second line of defense. <laughs> you know, so I'm okay. I think it's great. Everyone should have a Kunal in their life. They but, should, yeah. So you have a chance of not paying. Yeah. Shall Thank we take you. two more? Uh, Kunal? Yes. Yeah, yeah. By <laughs> okay. all means, by all means. Uh, VB okay. has asked a slightly serious-ish question. Uh, does Kunal feel lonely being single? And if so, what does he do when he feels like that? Well, uh, he uh, does. But can I answer my own rub against <laughs> <laughs> we have CC camera footage of him rubbing against the wall and all that. I mean, that is ridiculously bad. But go on. No, no, so, I, so on a serious note, I'm very lucky to have two families that I can... Three? Three families. More than three families, actually. How more than three? Uh, my own family. Oh, your actual there. family. <laughs> 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 that. actual blood family. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, so in a week, uh, most of my days get taken care of by... By these families, everybody's so welcoming. Yeah, 
Yep. Yeah. Or he's so imposing. <laughs> yeah. He buys his way through family. He so yeah. Everybody goes <laughs> carrying a bag. TV. <laughs> and all of that and stuff. Spot on. Spot on, Mangalam. <laughs> Amrinder says, Hey Kunal, how does it feel to son a palanquin? Did you feel like an emperor? LOL. The Palki, oh, you know that well, well, Cyrus yeah, has shared yeah, that like yeah, every yeah, third know, know, episode know, he shared. He wants to share it or even on the week that wasn't episodes now. <laughs> <laughs> visually, <laughs> visually, visually, visually. <laughs> no, I just thought, have you seen him? Kunal on the Palki? No, where is that? So there's a story. Kunal went to uh, Solapur? Uh, no, Ajanta Elora. Ajanta Elora. And uh, there was a hill that they were trekking over. Where the two <laughs> And he decided that it's not for him. So he got a palki. And there's these four really thin Maharashtra men carrying him. And he's waving like a panda, you know, in the middle of that thing. And he sends a picture to Aisha, my wife. And, you know, like a good picture. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. knowing what the picture, you know, signifies. Implies, yeah, implies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we were all like appalled and all looking at each other. And she sent a nasty... why should we be appalled there? <laughs> okay, let him speak. Look, there is a rate. This is what they do for a living. That is their work. If you can get people to carry your bags, why can't they carry <laughs> You also. I think it was very uh, humanitarian gesture on your part yeah. to make sure that they have work. No, and there is and a signboard saying this is the rate for uh, this fat much. people. <laughs> Not really. well, there should be actually, but there wasn't. And I, it's official. Yeah. Anyway, it's it brings like a I smile was... to all rich people's faces for some reason. <laughs> it's everything wrong with that picture, but you know, I, you got to see it. It's a picture thing. You don't know your thing. Listen, yeah. I have a hip problem, man. Okay, now stop that. Right? <laughs> you may be falling apart, but the picture was atrocious. That's all there is to it. Yeah. No, but that's that's how he buys his way into places. And so he bought gifts for these young boys. They're dead. No, he just gave them business. Yeah. Once in the entire yeah. pandemic, they carried a huge man up and down a mountain. And you know how happy bucks. they were because they had earned nothing in the pandemic. Yeah. So they got that one meal for the whole year, and that's it. So you it did was your bit. much more than a meal. Okay. The price of how, that how much did you pay? I'm not. No, you tell us. No, Come on, tell us, please. <laughs> on your birthday. Please. On your birthday. Yeah, that's the one confession. This is a money man. Me and him, he's Guju. I'm crazy about money. The I'm Marwari. Maru, I mean, three of us. I'll excuse Abbas. <laughs> How much do you pay? Uh, I think it was 2,000 rupees plus tip. How much was the tip? Uh, I'm substantial. I have a good tipper. Well, if you put your leg on someone's head, you should pay them a little extra. <laughs> how, okay. how, how long was the climb? How long was the climb? Uh, it wasn't continuous, uh -huh. but the whole journey... What do you mean? They <laughs> drop you on the floor? <laughs> no, they bounce no, you around in the middle of the stop. You go up the uh, incline, then yeah. they set you down, and then you walk around... Because they need to breathe. And <laughs> the food is too much for them. There's another science here. <laughs> the science is very clear. Okay, got it, got it. Uh, anyway. Uh, someone has asked about Kunal's diet. What is your diet like? Well, at the moment, it's quite it's strict. Groovy, groovy. It's quite right. strict at the moment. Uh, because I'm recovering from a stomach problem. But uh, we'll get back to... I'm just trying to avoid wheat and maida. Yeah. And fried food and sweet things. But that's, that's And spicy good. and masala and red meat. <laughs> and breads. And carbs <laughs> of all kinds. But at, at the and any, anything which, any vegetables which is given any flavor. So basically, mm. there's curd rice. And, yeah. and, and that's good. That's good. That's but good. at the cost of going over on the show... Uh, did you ever have a problem eating around so many places that you eat and all that? How do you take care of your stomach, your gut thereafter? You mean, did you fart? No, not just that. But I mean, uh, Well, I didn't take care of my gut. So yeah. hence, I think uh, I have to start taking care of my gut as I grow older. All right. Strange answer. <laughs> How about you kind of he's like 58. It's not like he's 16 and going to tell us what's happening next. Okay, fine. Uh, let's do one last one. Yeah. Aditya Sharda has asked AMA for Kunal, what's Cyrus's most annoying habit? Oh God! How much time is left? For this show? <laughs> we have about as eight much minutes. time for this as much time as you want. Uh, it, uh, there's a lot of I don't know. And one annoying habit is difficult. But okay, what's his best habit according to you? No, 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 give us an annoying no, habit. Thinking, don't hold back. Why are you holding back? I don't hold back. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. So there is no annoying one? habit because no. you have to think about it. The, which one? The man is so good, so noble <laughs> that there's nothing bad in his mind coming to to the fore. I mean, that's sad. Uh, but you got nothing negative to say. Oh my God! <laughs> I, I feel like a saint. Shall I choose this one or that one? <laughs> no, know. it's all bullshit because you can't get a thought out of your head. It's all, it's all. You see, Mangalam, the truth be told, I... there's Mother Teresa, there's me, <laughs> and then the bodyguards of Chandigarh Maurya. The best people produced by this country, in a way. Well, there's a new saint. Yeah, that's true. But You've 200 been... years old. Yeah. Yeah. There is. We don't have time for it. I'll do it. <laughs> it's from Kerala. Converted to Christianity, that will cause trouble anyway. Yeah. 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 Mm. It's all true. I do my research on this stuff. Sure. <laughs> okay, uh, is that it? Are we wrapping yes, up? Yes. Uh, happy birthday once again to Thank Kunal. you. Thank happy you. Birthday, birthday. Kunal. And Thank before you. we wait, wrap wait. up, there's a little thing that uh, you have to say, Cyrus. Right. And we uh, <laughs> Thank you, Mangalam. And thank you so much for coming here. You're not to be left out. When is your birthday? October 8th. 
we will bring you back on October 7th. <laughs> make you feel bad about age. But don't forget to download the Jupiter Money app on the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. We leave you with that happy picture, but it's an audio medium, so we'll have your sounds as well of Kunal Vijaykar celebrating his birthday alone in Prabha Devi. He's looking at his watch. <laughs> For the eighth time, he's yes. looked at his watch. But no, no, it's an Apple Watch. You get all the notifications. notifications. But yeah. you know, the great thing, after four podcasts with him, is the first one he hasn't slept through. You can ask him. Really? Anyone. That's we're getting ask better. Hello, means. hello. Yeah. What for? <laughs> yeah, he's done a lot more hello, than four. Four. Hello, what for? He's done a lot more than uh, obviously, four. Obviously, IBM is doing well because you don't call me on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean to say is the guests don't cancel anymore? Yeah. 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 That's true. Happy birthday, Kunal. Good rice. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs>